I have another. There's a dress on both sides. There's a dress on both sides. Ah! But I have another Plushy Dreadfuls unboxing. This one has been really wrapped tight. It's going to be a, a video where I do it on two different days because I don't want to wait because I can feel that there's a pen in here and I want to know if I got a different one. So I'm going to open it now. Let's just get into it. It doesn't seem to be taped up this time so I can rip into it. Let's grab it out. I noticed yesterday I actually have 30 plushy dreadfuls and there's 33 in my house in total including the ones that I have for my kids. I did get a different pen. I got Ouchie Bunny which I believe is the one that my friend got. <laughs> so we're twinning. <laughs> we twin so much. But here is the, oh the Ouchie pen is so cute. Because the other ones say plushy dreadfuls on them and this one actually says Ouchie. But where is yeah, I've been using it. I've been using my um, Num Bunny. I want to get the Num Bunny, but I haven't got it yet. I should do. But yeah, there are my two different pens. My other Num Bunny is still got like the wax on it and I've put it into a, a, a pen holder. So it just stays nice until I need it. But these are my two pens I have right now. This one does say Pushy Dreadfuls on the back, but this one just says Pushy Dreadfuls on it. It doesn't say Num Bunny on it or anything. Now, let's get into the bunny itself. This one is the grief bunny. So it's a little bit of a sad one. But although I don't have anyone that I am currently grieving, grief is something I feel like I'm always having to deal with. Like, I grieve for a few things. I grieve for my childhood because I, I did have that kind of stolen from me. That's probably a big one. But in the past almost 10 years, I've been grieving my family. They, they all shun me because they're in a cult. And so I won't ever see them again. Um, not unless I rejoin the cult, which I would rather die <laughs> than do that. I was born and raised in it, which is why I lost my childhood to them. I do believe that kids in that cult are subject to ABUSC, but it's particularly bad for little girls. And a lot of mine took place once my brothers had left home. So they weren't around to witness any of it. So it's much easier for them to remain in denial about just how bad our mother actually is. One brother experienced something particularly bad, but he'd never admit that it was abuse from her. He'd rather just ignore it. But um, yeah, so I feel that I do experience a lot of grief and it's something that I really resonated with when I saw it. So this is the bag for Grief Bunny. It's actually a very pretty bag. Again, it's one, one I haven't actually looked at the bag online, but there it is. Hmm, his sad little face. He's just so endearing. How could you not want this bunny? <gasps> he has a zipper on him. Does he have something inside him? See, I didn't look. I didn't look too much at this one. I just knew I wanted him. <laughs> but um, he's got a little anchor because his grief is weighing him down, I guess. He's so sweet. My anchor's a little bit bent, but that's okay. It's only made out of um, fabric. It's all fabric all around here. So I... Apart from the chain, the chain is plastic. I do kind of prefer them being soft than the plastic. Although this does kind of seem a little bit flimsy. So I would worry that I would break this. This is how it looks up close. And there's the chain. Whereas I worry a lot of my PTSD bunny that I will accidentally break the plastic. So I don't tend to play with him as much as I would like to. And what's his ears look like? He's got the anchor symbolism in his ear being weighted down by that grief and it's in the other ear as well because with that anchor theme i guess we've got a lot of water kind of themage too and it's like purple though rather than blue i wonder if purple is associated with sadness a bit more because blue is blue is associated with sadness and the bunny itself is blue then we have the new tags that they've been putting on i'm going to take all these off and put them somewhere safe and there's the back and it says, let's see what the symbol is. Now we can have it explained to us. Omega, al al Omega alchemy symbol for death, loss and grief. Broken hollow heart for the location of both pain and healing. So that'll be this. It's got a broken heart. And I guess this is the hollow one because it's blue. Melting motifs for falling to the floor in pain and sadness. So that'd be the water kind of... Um, thing that I always notice and that's gonna be like the melting his little tear on his eye and then anchor symbols for the weight of loss of which we do not eventually eventually release can hold us in place forever it is a very 
somber bunny and there's the um, omega alchemical symbol on the outside of the ear it's only on one ear and we've got more of this melting on the hands he's a very sweet bunny and i think he's very well designed as soon as i saw him i was like oh yeah i want him so he's also got one of the little black love heart zippers that is on the black anxiety bunny let's see what's inside his pouch is there anything inside the pouch he's empty he's just empty inside so you have the ability to open him up but when you do there's nothing there i think it just might symbolize his emptiness he is a very sad bunny and i just want to look after him <laughs> even his ears i feel like his ears are placed further back so he's got like an even sadder kind of look to him i want to take care of him but yeah i do resonate with grief quite a bit because when you realize that you're being shunned by your family and that you just won't ever see them again they may as well be dead like they see me as dead they see me as dead like how they're supposed to treat me is as if as if i was dead or if i never existed so they pretty much see me as dead just because i don't want to be part of their cult anymore well i left it a long time ago and i did have connections with my family for years is it only until nine years ago but that was because i started questioning things and so a lot of those questions i never got answers to either so you know there's a lot of things that kind of make me feel feelings of grief and so i did just automatically know i wanted to have this bunny i have had people who have passed in the past i was only thinking about a friend the other day who um had passed away when i was a child and i remember that day very well i just think grief is something that most people can relate to and i think he's a very very nice and well designed bunny so i'm going to leave this half of the video here and you will see me in a minute with another unboxing and i'll see you then hi it's a couple of weeks later i feel like this one took a bit longer to come than usual normally it's about 11 days i swear this one's took much longer than that but i have my other pleasure devils box it and i can feel there's another pen in here so i wonder if it's a different one or a duplicate again but we will see let's crack into it if anyone's interested in an update on the builder bear <laughs> <laughs> looking a bit stretched out right now i've been using him non-stop he's been warmed up a lot i warm him up in the daytime at night time like he's become quite essential so him and uh, ludo kind of sleep with me at the same time now definitely recommend these oh, oh yeah pen <gasps> it's a different pen this is a red oh it's love rabbit it's the love bunny let me get it out Oh, this one's got like a, a silicone feel to it. The other one is a, a hard plastic. This one's a silicone pen. So there's the Love Rabbit pen. It says Plushy Dreadfuls on the other side. Oh my God, I'm actually loving these pens. I wonder if it's actually a red pen. I don't think it will be. I've been using the other ones a lot. Get a little waxy bit off. I'm just going to write on my medicine. Yeah, it's a black pen. It's a black one. So yeah, I have my spare one over in the pen holder. But here are the three different pens I have. I've got no more Plushy Dreadfuls ordered right now. So this is my last one for now. And this one is the Arfid Bunny. Arfid is an ED. I can't say the full word, even though this one has got no negative connotations to it. It's not about body image or, or anything like that. It's related to neurodivergence like ADHD or autism. And it's kind of like what people would call you like a picky eater as a kid kind of thing. You have safe foods. For me, I'll talk about my own experience with Arfid, is that um, I kind of have foods that I get stuck on. And there's a few that come uh, quite regular. So noodles, like ramen, but it's a specific type of ramen noodle that I will eat and just the same flavour. It has to be the same brand. It's always one of those car cardboard box ones like i can't remember what brand it actually is i never look at the name i think it begins with an r but i just know that's my brand it comes in like a green pot it's the chicken flavor and it's the only noodles i really eat before then it would be the is it nissan 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 brand and i'd have the sesame one what's funny with that is they changed the recipe to that uh, sesame brand of noodles and i can't eat them anymore so then i moved on to these other one reva Reva noodles. I moved on to the Reva ones and the chicken ones are now my new safe noodles. But to get that sesame stuff that I like, I actually just bought a, 
a bottle of sesame oil and I pour a little bit in every time I make those noodles. So I have these chicken noodles with sesame oil in them. Jerk chicken and rice is another one of my safe foods. Also a Chinese chicken dish that chicken dish chicken dish that i like where you um, blend ginger and spring onion together and you make that into a sauce and it's just like chicken and rice with this sauce and oh i could just yum that up and have some, some like uh, chinese cabbage with it love that dish these are foods i can pretty much eat most of the time i do go off the noodles every now and then i'll go off them for anywhere between like a week or a few months and then i'll go back to it and cycle back through eggs another one of my safe foods toast <laughs> and like they'll kind of weave in and out i have to try and make myself eat other foods sometimes but sometimes i just i just can't and what's weird about it though is i can be stuck on a meal like say i'm like i've been on jerk chicken for like three weeks and that's all i want to eat is jerk chicken and rice then one day i'll wake up and i've bought all this chicken all this jerk seasoning all the rest of it and then one day i'll just wake up and be like i don't want that today and just the idea of eating it makes me want to like throw up i'm like no I'm not, I'm not having it and then i'll have to try and figure out what my next safe food is and it would normally like be i like lentil soup as well i'll go through phases of having lots of lentil soup all the time and i'll just cycle through and it, it does kind of get a bit tiring honestly because like you want to eat other things but nothing else seems like you could stomach it like i have to have that food yeah so today actually i had something different i did have some pilchards on toast i'm not a massive fan of pilchards because i am low on vitamin d right now and it's oily fish i kind of forced myself to eat it at least the toast was nice <laughs> which is fun because the aphid bunny comes with a piece of toast <laughs> as it's safe food so i find that quite funny i wonder if toast is a common safe food for people who have aphid so yeah it is an ed but it's got nothing to do with body image or anything like that it's more about safe foods and what you feel comfortable eating what you can stomach eating and the fact that it's kind of disordered eating like even though it is an ed as well it's more about the disordered nature of it i'm sorry if you already know about alfred and i just explained a whole lot of stuff or well, maybe maybe it'd be good for other people who do know about it but haven't heard someone else talk about theirs maybe it's relatable i don't know but here is the bag i think the bag is really cute i don't think i've actually seen the bag yet this is the first time i've seen it but i knew as soon as they announced it i wanted to have this bunny oh her little face her little nose is kind of hidden it kind of makes her look cuter i don't know if i want to uncover it but i do because i need to show you guys but she does have like a little nose and mouth down here but i kind of like that it was kind of covered up <laughs> that's so cute she has a little pink tail she's got um they have the symbols on the tags now so i can tell you what they mean hopefully i hope it'll say but there's a symbol on her ear spirals on the inside of her ear and yeah just got some little felt like eyes she has little eyebrows you can barely see them but she does have little worried kind of eyebrows and she's very soft she's very soft she's got like the longer ears as well not not there's some that have really long ears that go below their feet then there's some that have slightly shorter ears this one just seems to have like the ones that go just below the feet only just and then she has a little zip and inside it's inside my bag I thought the uh, toast lived inside her tummy, but there's the little piece of toast. It's actually quite a chunky piece of toast and her pocket seems kind of small. Let me see if I can fit it in. Because they show in the picture of it kind of in her tummy, but I don't know if it would actually fit in there. It has got a little bit of elastic around the back of the toast, so you're going to be able to attach it to her hands at least. But I kind of like the idea of keeping it in her tummy so I don't lose it. Because as you know, I do... I have a bit of an issue with the plushies that ow that have accessories because they're easily lost i have the masks up here like i said i'd put them oh my god this is really not going in i thought this meant to go in here but now i'm wondering if it's not meant to go in here i have managed to squeeze it in though you can just see its little face <laughs> but i kind of bent my thumb back like i've got to be careful with that thumb actually one time i like bent it completely back trying to take off some knee length socks and it took a really long time to heal and i've managed to injure it several times ever since so i've kind of like weakened that thumb okay you can get it in with a lot of effort and do it back up let's read the label i actually have a spare label in here aphid bunny i thought it had fallen off of her but she actually has it on here as well so yeah it's got an extra label that's odd but i'll just read the one that is here 
Alfred rabbit symbolism. Cream colour for paleness and anemia. I was actually anemic recently. I don't think I am now though. I'm good for that. I'm just really, really low on vitamin D. Like severely low on vitamin d so i've got a prescription for like six week course but apparently i'm going to need to have maintenance doses after that but that's different that's unrelated i'm sorry empty stomach like in brackets trauma due to attempts from others to punish those of our food into eating plush bread friend for safe food choice so yes it's safe food swells in the ears for dizziness oh my god the amount of times i get dizzy and earth alchemy symbol for dryness and dehydration so that's what the earth alchemy symbol is on the ear that's this symbol so that's all it has on the tag for its symbolism and here is the bunny i'm not sure if i'm meant to have the toast in its belly now as it says it's meant to be an empty stomach i'm gonna try and keep it in there so i just don't want to lose the bread but like the inside of its tummy is quite stuffed so it's really hard to get it in there i wish they'd made it a little bit bigger just so that we had the choice to store the bread inside the tummy it's her safe food she can eat that you know and there she is holding the bread so it feels like forever since i unboxed my grief bunny but he is sat right here i made sure he was two hand ready for this unboxing so these are the two bushes huh. so these are the two pushy dreadfuls i got in this unboxing let me know what you think to them have you ordered either of these do you think you might order some of these i think they're lovely um i i don't know i don't think i'm gonna stop being a fan of pushy dreadfuls anytime soon i just so often i think there's so much wrong with me this is kind of like not a bonus but like a consolation that okay there's a lot of things wrong with me but then there's all these bunnies that i can relate to in so many ways and they're so cute and so soft and i love collecting things this is probably to do my ADHD. i've always loved collecting things recently i've been looking at my collections a lot lately not just my plushie collections i've got a lot a lot of collections and um i get to collect not only plushies but like a specific type of plushie like obviously i've got the jelly cats and stuff but these are quite uniform in a sense because they all have like a theme so i enjoy collecting these because it's like well these were part of my life these conditions were part of my life for a long time and have helped shaped me into who i am today so i don't know i love that these are kind of symbolic plushies rather than just being attached to something soft and cuddly or sentimental these are sentimental in a completely different way and like I say I find them as like a healing tool and I really enjoy them so I'm sorry to kind of ramble on about my feelings if you like this video um i'd really appreciate if you give me a like or a comment or if you really liked it and you got all the way to the end maybe consider maybe consider subscribing because i will be making more videos that will be a given i will be making more videos and in fact i should unbox my daughter's christmas present while i'm at it i got the uh the bluey bingo from build a bear so i should do that as well if you're interested in build a bears i have build a bear videos i have jelly cat videos and i have the odd different plushy brands that i've like dipped my toe into also charlie bears i love charlie bears so yeah hopefully you'll stick around maybe you'll subscribe and i will see you again soon thank you so much for watching bye